You think you got it in you to do it? City of Sumas, that car got flipped over. Oh boy. There's a city of Sumas that is underwater, and we're gonna go try to get as many people out of there as we can with our tractor. I ain't gonna lie, I would not be taking a car in this. I'm getting pushed with a tractor of all things. So on our way to Sumas, we got two tractors already there doing some rescue. Uh, they said they needed more, so I'm on my way, but they took a different way there and said it was really deep getting there. And so they recommended me going on the Badger and see if it's less deep. Uh, the road isn't closed, so I'm hoping that's a good sign, but also I see no oncoming traffic, so I imagine it's closed up there. Anyways, keep it moving. It is a weird feeling driving through water. You kind of feel like you're moving a little. Remember how that was? experience before to be honest um, little car in the road this truck ahead of me is gonna go do the same thing I'm doing but he's a lot lower to the ground I'm a little nervous I might end up pulling him out we'll go nice and slow he just came down this part so other thing about I could probably go a little faster through these spots but you create a wake then and the wake ends up hitting houses so you, you don't want to disturb that too much I don't think but that's just what I'm thinking there's a couple other trucks trying to follow me but honestly I would not be in here in anything but a tractor these guys are, I think are a little crazy especially you see the river it's going right through here that's where washouts could happen this is a cop right here oh no not a cop he's this guy with a hood rack or, or a roof rack that guy in his lawnmower was backing up leaves. They got washed away, I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, this is nuts. And it's still raining. It's been raining for a few days straight now, just pouring. A couple of some snow melts. Um, that's what's going on. My windshield wiper works really well, though. Yeah, we got some, uh, got some water over the roadway. That guy just made it through, though. Not sure what he's thinking, but if he doesn't go through, I don't know if I should either. Just trying to get to the place to rescue people right now is, is a challenge. I made it to the, the way that everyone says to go, and we got some boat launching going on in the road. Um, something you see every day. Need to push that boat off or something. I don't think it's deep enough for boats to be honest. That was the deepest I went through so far, but that was it. got it got hub level. Something floating across the road up there. You can never estimate how deep the water is, but it's deep right now. Um, I think I'm pretty nervous. I'm just trying to go as slow as I can and stay in the middle of the road. If I go too fast, I create I create a little bit of a push wake, but maybe that's better. I'm kind of just trying to stay in between the middle of the signs. Three high right now. I'm watching my temperature gauge too because I the fan is definitely in the water a little bit. Oh, there's a bump in the road, and there's a bump in the road that scares the sleeping crap out of me. There's you just kind of have to gauge between signs. You hope they put them right on the same edge on each side. Just be in the middle. Whew, ain't gonna lie, this is pretty deep. I thought the worst of it was done already, but I think it's just this deep all the way through. Man, you don't want to 
hit that. I don't want to go off the road, so I'm going to hit that barrier if it hits me. But I, it looks like I just missed it. So that's part of the racetrack here. Uh, that got blown in the road. If I go any faster, the water becomes unmanageable. But I feel like I'm close to the finish line here. That is a house, and that's not supposed to be underwater. Uh, yeah, Sumas is underwater, folks. If you have rescue equipment, they probably need it, but it's hard getting here. I ain't gonna lie to that. I wouldn't recommend doing what I just did. But I'm getting through, but it's not without some challenges. I hope my chains are still on my hitch. Because I put them. I should have flown away. Do not block the driveway. I'm gonna slow down here. This is deeper than it's ever been. This is definitely the deepest spot. just mainly to not create a wake, but I feel like we're going to crawl out of it here in a second. This is a flood. You can see it over there, but those trucks are underwater. I feel like I'm kind of out of it now. This is the railroad track, so it's definitely a higher crossing. That was the deepest spot right there by that house. Incredible. Incredible. There's one of my other teammates. He's making a trip. Can't see him, but there's another fast track there. We're doing people deliveries today. That is a car. A couple of them. I don't want to go too fast. They'll break their windows out, maybe. Wave. I only hope this bridge can hold. I got my back window open in case something really screwed up happens and I have to bail out the back. The bridge is nerve wracking, I ain't gonna lie. There we are on the bridge. It doesn't need any more weight on it. There is just a rapid going through there. I think we made it. Yeah, the other guys over there, I seen them. I ain't gonna lie, the, the pucker factor, I didn't, I didn't realize that was gonna be that sketchy. That was sketchy. if they're going to let me through to go rescue people. They blocked the road. So a couple called me. They found out I was here. Um, someone must have Turn told right me. Onto and uh, this is going to get sketchy. Um, trying to get them. It's really deep here. I think this is a bad route, to be honest. They need a rescue is not close enough to them. This is flowing really quick here. Um, here's a car that looks like, hopefully no one's in that car. I'm going to have to go the other way. Sumas Avenue. Wow, this is freaking nuts. Yeah, I got really deep here. without maybe ending up in the ditch.
believe the people that I'm looking for are in that house. I see 912. They're going to have to swim to me. That's the only way I'm going to be able to get them. Uh, boats are probably going to be needed here. I'm going to bump up to this car here. That's just where we're at. So this is the best way I think I can help right now is waiting for the coast or the net search and rescue to get people out of the house and bring them to me on the road. Just because I don't want to get stuck. There's one of our other craft. Uh, He's probably gonna call me and wonder what I'm doing. So we're still collecting people. Uh, I've been told they've been in Newman Road is the road we're heading to now. Um, I like this road. I've been down this road before, so I know that I can get down this road. Or at least I eat dead. I've never made wake with a tracker before. I'm gonna watch my wake a little bit. Some of these cars are still got their light. I already checked that one earlier. There was no one in it. They just left their lights on. The devastation in this community is gonna to be tough. It's the un you don't plan for this. So you guys came to help people? That's right, we came to get you. You guys want to try to record everything? Hey, we got these guys. What's your guys' names? Mario and Alicia. Oh, Alicia? And what's your grandma's name? Voila. Voila, nice. Well, good. We're, we're going to get you guys dry. So, we are heading back to Linden. Hopefully, we can find a way to Linden. That's our biggest problem right now. Um, and I lost brakes, or at least air capacity to hold the brakes. So, I've used my brakes very sparingly. And we were becoming ineffective in Sumas mainly because um, it, it was getting deeper, so we were we couldn't cross a certain part of the town, and we, um, we couldn't see as well because it's getting so dark. Um, the boats were able to go up to the houses, so they're going to keep going. But um, with track with vehicles, if you can't see where you're going, you'll probably get in trouble. So that's that's not a good deal. Uh, yeah, so we are heading back. We're gonna try to find a way back in this place uh, to Linden. Um, but there's a lot of people, a lot of lives affected in Sumas. Uh, a lot of people, their homes are destroyed, we'll put it that way. Um, yeah, I don't know, there's probably gonna be some something set up to help these families, I imagine. I don't know what it is right now, but uh, stay tuned. We'll try to keep you posted on Sumas relief efforts. Um, I have a feeling we'll probably be going back tomorrow, maybe, if they need, if they need us to. Um, but anyways, thank you for watching. Um, yeah, we'll put a link below to help support the Sumas flood victims, the Whatcom County flood victims in general. We only went, uh, We only went to Sumas, but um, there's other communities affected as well. I think Sumas might be the worst, though. Pretty much had a poor river going through their town for a good part of it. All day, all night, that river's not going to stop. The rail cars got turned over. Um, just not good. Anyways, I'm sure we'll set some up, uh, get some on the page so we can support some flood victims. 
there's a lot of them. Stay, thanks for watching. Stay safe. Going through Everson on our way home. We figured it. We were told this was the best route with the least amount of water. But um, I don't know. There's a lot of cars in the road, stranded. This is where the current's gonna pick up a bit. If there's anything good about cars being on the road, they can kind of tell you how deep it is, which is nice. So, you know, it's not washed out. We're in a, uh, this is a strong current. I'm holding my wheel because the water wants to take my steering wheel away. There is people, okay, these people might need to be saved. I don't know what I'm gonna do though. You guys, you guys wanna come in here? He's gonna, yeah, he's just gonna block the current, okay? That way the truck won't move, hopefully, okay? So much. Okay. Okay. You guys ready? You think you got it in you to do it? Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Say what? Yeah. Okay. okay. Just take your time. If she can do it, you can too, I bet it. I believe in you. She says she believes in you. This is day two of uh, flood rescue. Uh, been getting some messages to go get people. Uh, we're gonna go get this guy that got left by accident somehow yesterday. His family got rescued, but I feel like it might have been a language, might have been a language miscommunication on people coming back or not. Yeah, we're gonna go get him. Uh, people at the church notified me that he was still stranded. So, it, the water has went down. It's probably went down two feet if I had to guess by this car. This car is kind of my gauge. Um, yesterday it was over the, yeah, it was completely covered. Um, yeah, it's a pretty bad spot. Anyways, the water's still coming into Sumas, but I think it's leaving a little quicker than it's coming in, so that's why it's going down. Uh, there hasn't been any rain today, which is good. I don't think it's supposed to rain tomorrow, from what I can see, which will make it a lot better. But Thursday it's supposed to rain again, so we'll see what happens. Working with some people in the city, trying to get people that are just absolutely stranded. Three people? We can do it. These people spent the night and uh, just running through their house. The house is a little higher, so I think their house is dry, but no power, no no way to get anywhere. Uh, I think we're going to fit a few, as many people as we can in here. We do have a back bench seat here we can do some nice stuff with. There you go. You got one foot on. Alright, you got it? All right, so you sit here, okay. and then and then we'll sit here, and then he'll ride on the back. Can you ride on the back right here? 
Y ahí es mejor. Did it work? The generator's the problem? I don't want to do too much wake, it might break some of these windows. Yeah. That box came from somewhere. Well, at least the snap-on tool truck looked like it stayed dry. <laughs> <laughs>